This episode of the podcast is brought to you by the Tattooed Traveler YouTube channel. Join award-winning TV host and travel expert Todd Newton as he takes you coast to coast and around the globe to destinations like Paris, Rome, Bangkok, Hollywood, Mexico, New York, and so many more. Experience all the world has to offer by visiting the tattooedtraveler.com or subscribe on YouTube at the Tattooed Traveler. Welcome to the host with the most podcast. Podcast. And now, direct from the Razzle Dazzle Studios, here's the tan, tattooed connoisseur of conversation, Todd Newton. So I don't know what you're looking at me for. I have zero qualms with deviled eggs. By the way, welcome to the podcast. ToddNewtonOnline.com, TheTattooedTraveler.com. I love deviled eggs. Yeah. They're complete in themselves. You can make them, and you can help yourself, and there's no plate. You don't have to have spoons and all this different stuff, or napkins. Maybe a napkin if you're a sloppy eater, but you can get away with just making a tray of deviled eggs, set them out, and just come back and get your tray later. You know, there's a, a, reci- a, a recipe. There's a, a restaurant here that uh, we go to pretty frequently. It's right at the base of the elevators, and the food is good, and... Uh, they got a nice bar that gets pretty pretty active at, at night. But one of the appetizers is deviled eggs. And I love them. Marky loves them. My son loves them. But the thing is, they bring you three. They bring you three half, you know, because deviled eggs are How do you half. have three? Well, that's what my daughter said. We, I was there with my daughter and her best friend uh, just, I don't know, a week or so ago. And I got them. And, uh, and I woofed them down. And I made a comment about I wish that play I wish they gave you more or whatever. But my daughter had the the same point. She said, well, "How do how do you only get three? And I thought to myself, "Yeah, where's that fourth one? I mean, the, you you know that throws the chefs off. in the kitchen yeah. tasting it, <laughs> going, <laughs> okay, these are good. Take these three. <laughs> it seems like it would throw <laughs> off the count for the entire day. I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, but I I do love deviled eggs. Hey, I uh, I made such a rookie error. Last night, you were mentioning what? the Tattooed Traveler YouTube channel. I was uploading a video, and uh, as it was uploading, I was just kind of tooling around looking at other videos. I love these videos that people are posting of Adele's show in Las Vegas. I, I love it. it. She's just so interactive with the audience, and it's really cool to see. And I, I was also watching the video of... Uh, Elton John was performing at Dodger Stadium the other night, and when he sang Cold Heart, he brought Dua Lipa out, who is my other celebrity Ooh. crush, alongside Kaylee Cuoco. But she came out, and she was dressed in this black, elegant gown with black gloves coming up to her elbows, and her hair just long and black and just beautiful and, and so flawless on stage. And Elton John's wearing this bedazzled L.A. Dodgers robe, you know, with the big round. Because that's Elton. <laughs> and um, <laughs> anyway, I was watching that. But the mistake I made is I was watching this other uh, this other video. Bill Maher was interviewing Gene Simmons from Kiss, and I commented on it because I just finished reading one of Gene Simmons' business books, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, the guy's a branding master. If you're a Kiss fan or not, you got to respect oh, the fact that you, you can't go anywhere. Kiss in the world. coffins, right? And I made a comment on the video, and I don't know why I did it because you're just setting yourself up for. Me. <laughs> and I said, and I, and I said, I really enjoyed Gene's book. It's called Me Inc. And that was the comment, you know. And somebody responded. Gene Simmons is a con, you tattooed fool. <laughs> wow. You called me a name. You know, <laughs> and I'm just saying. You there. and Gene Simmons. Yeah, he nailed both of us in one reply. And uh, I didn't reply back, but I thought, why do I even bother? I, I had nothing to gain by posting that. And I just took a hit, a direct hit right to the gut. Oh, God. But wait, ha- hang on. Whenever you post anything, you know it's like putting up a billboard over a freeway. Everybody's going to take a shot at it. Let's get back to the talk that will keep you talking. This is the host with the most, Todd Cast with Todd Newton. Always appreciate you being here. Please do subscribe to the Toddcast, rate and review the Toddcast wherever 
you happen to download the show. You know, Maria, now that we're well into 2023 here, a few weeks ago, if you were pregnant, like eight, pre- eight months pregnant, you were hoping that you had that January 1st baby. That one, one, the first one of the year, especially. Yes. And, and I don't know how you really determine that. If I, I will tell you this, if I were a, an OBGYN, let's say I'm an OBGYN in, in St. Louis, Missouri, and, and that baby, you know, and I deliver a baby at, I don't know, you know, 12, 31 a.m., there's going to be a little devil on my shoulder saying, ooh, maybe if I just put this to 12 a.m. and two seconds, you know? Oh, you, you pushing the pencil. Yeah, because you want that. You want that credibility. I don't, well, I, a 30 minutes might be a little bit of a push because obviously there are witnesses. But if you're close, if you're close, if it's a, if it's, if it's a photo finish there, you want those bragging rights. I don't know. Uh, the reason I, uh, I, I speculate, not speculate, but, but, spotlight parents and and soon to be parents is uh if that baby is coming in 2023 and uh and you maybe this is your first one and you've been trying to budget properly you've been trying to save because that's what parents do especially when they have that first child they're like oh man every penny counts i'm going to tell you how much it costs to have a baby just the first year, how much this, well, I don't want to overwhelm you. So here's how much that first year is going to run you. You ready for this? Let me sit back. My stepdaughter's pregnant. Uh-oh. When is she due? Uh, in March. Oh, okay. Well, this is, this is going to be this. You tell her this then. All right. Uncle Todd is, Uncle Todd is, is throwing this at her here. The, I just got to start saving. The first year of raising a baby is going to run you 15 grand. $15,000 and this is for the basics. This is for the basics. We're talking formula, which is listen. I'm a big proponent of, of breastfeeding, you know, there's nothing more healthy and nothing more affordable than than breast milk. But clothing, disposable diapers and it does not Ugh. stop there. It does not you got these strollers. Have you seen these strollers? These things are like oh, buying I know. a luxury vehicle these days. Strollers, they're so much more expensive than they were when I was buying them, man. Strollers and car seats. Yeah. And if you if you want to save a few bucks, not a lot, some of these strollers have the removable car seats as part of the stroller, but you're still looking I mean, you're still looking at 3-400. For that? For a stroller, and it's not something they're going to use forever. No, no. You'll put them in it for maybe the first year, like you said. Then once they start walking, they don't want to get in that stroller. This is, oh, by the way, all these costs, everything baby related is up 27% from just two years ago. 27%. Ugh. That's some serious inflation. And they say that uh, raising a child through the age of 18, by the way, it doesn't stop at 18. I'll tell you that right now. But oh, raising no. a child uh, to 18 can cost you anywhere from 250 grand to 500 grand. By the way, that's after tax dollars. So you do the math there. But uh, hey, we wish you well, parents to be. Congratulations! Saying- Thank you for keeping the art of conversation alive. For more Todd, visit ToddNewtonOnline.com. And don't forget to rate and review the show today. The host with the most Toddcast is produced by the host with the most LLC. All rights reserved.